லாம் ஒன் பாய்லர் பார்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் The law on boiler consists of the following parts or construction. First one is a feed pump, great economizer, circulating pump, distributing header, radiant evaporator, convective evaporator, steam separating drum, super heater, blower, air preheater, combustion chamber. These are the Construction of Lamont Boiler. It consists of hot air, combustion chamber, feed pump. All items are identified with various colors. Feed pump. Feed pump is the most important types of pumps which is used at the boiler for supplying the feed water it increases the pressure so that the feed water can enter into the boiler grat the grat is located bottom side of the furnace the grat we supply coal for burning the combustion chamber Action is a economizer. Economizer is a device for increasing the boiler efficiency. So the work of the economizer is to preheat by water by use of remaining heat flue gases of combustion chamber. In the repetition, the feed water is first enter into the economizer before entering into the boiler because it will preheat the water that is the major advantages of it circulating pump the circulating pump is a centrifugal pump and it's driven by the turbine the turbine takes steam from the boiler it takes water from the steam separating drum and send it to distributing header to the radiant evaporator section Next one is a distributing header. It is the common to have an inlet at one end only more than one out end. Radiant evaporator. The water starts surging phases from liquid to saturated liquid and to the saturated steam. The heat received here from the burning of fuel that is coal. Convective evaporator. Here the complete saturation of water into saturated steam process take place. Steam separating drum. The main work of the steam separating drum is separate the steam and water. Further, the steam is sent to the superheater and water is sent to the circulating pump. The superheater name itself indicates superheater. which means more heat will supply to the steams to that there should not be any tiny liquid particles and it fully convert into the steam and for rotating the turbine type here we can say the super heater increasing temperature of the steams next one is a blower Here it is an external component that receives the air and send it to the air preheater. The air preheater also increases the boiler efficiency. Here the air preheating and then preheating air send to the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber, the coal is burned and produces the hot flue gases help to the heat of the water. Next one is the lamp and boiler working principle. the lawman boilers working principle forced circulation of water boiler with the help of centrifugal pump this is the high pressure boilers and works above 170 170 bar and the temperature around 700 above kelvin we will be understanding here the point of wise that indicates uh, depth of uh, depth so the let we starts the water is the first supplied to the 
feed pump from the larger tank from the feed pump the water is entered into the economy sir yes we know the boiler efficiency increasing the devices so the carry heat available at the water will get heated before entering into the combustion chamber from the economy sir the water comes in separated devices where the separation of steam and water take place the water circulated by the centrifugal pump from the separated dump has a distributor head is kept for the control of water level enter into the boiler now the water reach at the combustion chamber flue gases surrounded them and start getting the heating now the water comes the phases radiant evaporator has a major amount of water is converted into steam and it sent to the convective heat transfer here the remaining water further converted into the saturated steam now with the saturated steam is further sent to the separator drum to for separating steams after separating the steam now further sent to the superheater to superheat saturated and make use of further generation for electrical mode.